first gray fox set down this path. I reckon everybody talks about, they reminisce about old times. The same little area here. And I caught three reds at the same spot. Come through the first set this morning, and it looks like a pretty good, smart fox he took and flipped my trap upside down. Sometimes that happens if, if the ground is a little bit soft and he comes in and steps right on the edge. What happens, he'll flip it. We're gonna go ahead and fix that right now. What I'm gonna do, I did have it set right here at this dirt hole. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move it over. Hopefully, he'll come right back. Hopefully, I'll give him a surprise. Unless he tries to hoodoo me again. On this live catch, especially with Fox, I like to use the number one coil spring, rubber jaw. That holds them pretty good. You can go to one and a half. Sometimes I use that when I know a coyote or cats are around. But usually that number one will catch them gray foxes pretty good and won't hurt the foot. Juice it back up with red fox urine. Give him something else to smell on. bit of pigeon feathers. Hopefully that'll do it. The reason I picked that spot was yesterday I come through here trying to find, hadn't been down here in a while, 
trying to find a track. Hard to find a track sometime, and I did find one, one gray track. So I put it right at that point. There's like the intersection there, and I walk across that field and come to that point to go in this cut iron over here and hunt rabbit and birds. <laughs> 